Good morning, motherfuckers. How we doing? Previously on Kimba TV. And um, whether you're looking for a long or short, everybody should be paying attention to what happens here, how it happens, are longs getting squeezed, are shorts opening, what about at the bottom, Who's what's happening where? Because this is a very important level. We've been talking about this for a very long time. And we talked about what it would look like on this day, right? If it was going to be turned into support, okay? We swiggity with it. Damn. Swiggity, swiggity. Swiggity, swiggity. Going back to the New York crib today. So slightly shorter stream. Lions, how we doing? Everybody juicing. How we doing? Y'all better not be eating that over fermented uh, kimchi. Any questions, Lion? Y'all good? What a week, huh? What a juicy ass uh, motherfucking week, boy. What a juicy ass uh, motherfucking week, boy. Any questions, y'all Gucci, my boys? Lions, y'all good? Everybody learning and improving how to read the data. No one guessing. Oh, I, I think it's gonna go up. Oh, I think it's gonna go down. No, no one gives a shit what you think, boy. The math is the math. Quit playing with me. I'm gonna take these vertical lines off. They're throwing me off. Clean this up a little bit. There we go. Was that like a Fibonacci thing, time thing we did? Probably. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions. Ugh. What is uh, gold and DXY at? Okay, gold you're hoeing. Okay. All right, we Gucci, baby. Little Warzizi, little coffee. And uh, time to juice. Any questions? So first things first, um, hopefully by now, you guys all have the internal ability to say, oh, you know what? This hasn't happened. This isn't the first time this is happening. Let me check out the previous times, right? Whether it's GDP, FOMC, CPI, always look at the previous days, right? So Hans Hugo, when you studied the previous Jackson Hole days, what did you find out? Because the Jackson Hole events, is, uh, it's over the weekend, right? So what are some of the things that you found? And it doesn't just have to be Hans Hugo, but in general, what did you find out, Hans Hugo? What did you notice? What are the patterns you recognized? Um, and then obviously, if you didn't even look at the previous Jackson Holes, um, you know that this is our, my third Jackson Hole. I've been streaming for three years, so there's two Jackson Hole highlights already. Uh, but obviously, if you didn't even look at that, then we got to start with effort first. Either way, hopefully it's a juice. If you didn't even look at the previous Jackson Hole highlights or the days, then that's where you got to start, right? Are you somebody that always says level by level, level to level, but then when shit hits, when the bullets start flying, you break protocol? Even though you're supposed to put stop loss and profit, when the bullets start flying, you move it? What is, what is something that you want to do better next week? Chat. Every single day, you have an opportunity to get better. All right. Emotional control, I like that. Respect levels more, I like that, I like that. And here's the thing, only you will be able to hold yourself accountable to it. Only you will know if you're getting better or not, you know? So next week, you're gonna have another opportunity, I promise you, to show yourself and prove to yourself that you know what you're doing. What do you wanna get better at? Ninjaville says, how much weight do you put on the recency of a level? I don't care. It's about volume. 
How much volume is there? Yeah, so think about the ways that I prioritize level, Ninjaville, and this hasn't changed for two and a half years, okay? What level do I prioritize the most, Ninjaville? Volume. If it's got hella volume, I don't care if it's new or old, I'm going to respect it, okay? After volume, then what's the second level of prioritization? Time. So your question is, how much weight do you put on the recency of a level? None. But if it spent a lot of time there, regardless of how recent it is, then I will put it into consideration. Regardless of how recent it is, if there's a lot of volume there, I will put a significant consideration into it. Regardless of how recent it is, if there's good volume and time and mathematical confluence, I will really put uh, strong consideration to it. The recency won't matter. If it's got a lot of volume, I will pay attention to it. Alrighty. But you can rest assured, Ninjaville, I'm not doing anything different. Um, and if you know me, I always like to start from the top bottom. I will always start with abstract and conceptual thoughts that will trickle down into the specifics of the execution itself. All right, Ninjaville says, even if the volume will say last bull run, yep, because that's volume profile. So, yes, absolutely. If I go, if we do uh, one week, okay, I might do this, my boy. I might say, give me the weekly candle from this breakout. And I have no problem doing that. And I know that for this range, that's the value area. Okay, so if this nukes, have you, hear, have you been hearing me talk about, A, like the long that I really want would be around the 47. Have you heard me talk about that, Ninjaville? That's because around here, do this on CME, do this on derivatives, do this on ETFs, okay? This starts to become value area high. So when I say, hey man, I would love to clean that shitty low and do some sort of like bullish retest of the value area high breakout, oh my God, I would love that. You know, like a fake out. Oh, we're losing the... No, whoa, oh, fuck, we're back in. And guess what, Ninjaville? We've already talked about this, you know, for months. All right, so to answer your question, I don't care recency or how old it is. It volume is volume, brother. Okay, what you're talking about in terms of recency, I think, is more about session-based. You know, so you might say, hey, let's do the fixed range for this, for this, and for this, and not combine them. And then you're going to start to see, okay, well, this is a little bit old, but this is how much volume it had. This, like, uh, it's not that much volume, is more important for me to be able to compare and contrast this and this is more important than comparing and contrasting how old or how recent these ranges are. Shwiggity, but that's just me. Vishante, hey, thank you for the cheer, Ninjaville. Any other questions? What about, how'd you guys do this week? What about today? Some people are gonna be like, holy fuck, I have a swing fill pattern short. Some people are gonna be like, Holy fuck, I got round tripped on my log. No! Some of y'all are gonna be like, fuck, they got me, bro. I top longed, okay? And I'm now I'm in a short. I think I'm fucked. Kachoyishima! Do you see what I mean by don't get emotionally compromised and just start doing some goofy shit? Stick to your plan. 
Do you see what I mean by at the end of the day, the only thing that you need to make sure you do is that you don't lose. Just put yourself in a free roll position. If you get round tripped and you piss, piss away all your profits, I'm not going to eat your lunch for that. But turn, letting a green trade turn red, that's unacceptable. Uh, train left me for the short, but got money from long, so it's cool. There you go. And just focus on what can I do better to miss, not miss out on the short next time? Or how can I protect my long better next time? That's it. You know? Don't be one of those people that crave validation so bad. You need people to agree with you so bad that even though you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you're just going to say shit in chat. Because I'm farming your ass. You know what I mean? Don't get got. You know? You have nothing to prove here. All right? You either know what you're doing or you don't. But imagine everybody that was like, yo, we're going to 64. Oh, we're going to 40. Both of them motherfuckers have no idea what they're doing. The real data in crypto is when the motherfuckers that are insecure or need validation, they need to be like, oh, I was right, guys. I was right. I called this, guys. That they give the most amount of data. Because they can't help themselves but blurt out. So stay focused. Don't get compromised emotionally. All right, do you, at the end of the day, longevity is the real proof in the pudding. All right, so stay focused. You guys should be able to tell me, is the Binance open interest? When it moved up, did it look bullish? When it came back down, did it look bearish? What about the Bybit open interest? On the move up, move down, were there any CVD divergences? Okay, do you have you been here the whole fucking week when I was talking about this? I just drew this bitch again earlier. Do you did you did you just think it was a line or did you understand the significance of it? Everything has been broken down in detail. So today is just one of those days where you get to figure out, okay, d did I really understand what he was saying? Am I really prepared? Did I do everything I can to get the best outcome did i think about worst case scenario did i put my did i start shaving my uh short or long uh behind the 382 or the 05 do i really know what i'm doing or am i just kind of like going with the flow am i just reading chat show me Lions, how we doing? Vishante says, already realized some Gucci profits. That's beautiful. Longers, you just got put to the test. Shorters, you're about to get put to the test right now. Bugatti money. Let's go. Tell me what the data is telling you guys. What's it telling us, y'all? How we doing? Yo, Gucci, my Gucci. And today is one of those days where we figure out who really loves this shit. Who, who really loves the math and the probabilities? Or who here just thinks this is glorified gambling? Fuck, why would he just tell me when to short or long? Fuck this shit. Yeah, but I'm telling you right now, 63 is eventually going to happen. And so just wait for that short if you want to short. You know what I mean? So there's going to be scalp opportunities, and that's one of the reasons. I don't know. Were you here in the morning when I drew this box? So it's, it's supposed to do something like this. I don't know if it would lose this. I do suspect it could. Okay? And then we're going to, you know, it's, there's going to be a pullback from the 62. That's why I drew the box this morning. Um, and so I don't know if this is the quick pullback, but the pullback was going to come from this level. That's easy to see, right? 
I don't know if it's going to come all the way back and stop everybody out like that before we do it on Monday. That's the, the tricky part. But tap here first, do a pullback, you know, stop everybody out and then go back and then clean. That is the most likely, right? So if you don't want to be caught up in this like bing bong, ding dong, just, just go enjoy the Friday with the wifey, Neo. If you want me to just break it down for you. Yeah, the OGs probably know what I'm talking about, but somebody was like, yo, Kimbo, you have a box to the downside. What about the box to the upside? I literally go, okay, pink, pink. That easy. Go If you missed this morning, go back and see how quickly I drew these boxes. Somebody goes, yo, you have a box to the downside, but why not boxes to the upside, bro? Literally took me 20 seconds to draw both of these. You know what I mean? How long have I had this line? You know? We look we did boo gammas. So pretty simple, pretty easy for me to be like, okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a pullback here. You know what I mean? Then it's gonna create some value. It's gonna form probably like absorption. I don't know how low it's gonna go, but then you know, we're gonna hit the local low. Need a little bit more data because this is the range right now, right? So it's a matter of if it's going to hold this. I don't think it would. Okay, I think it would be funnier to break, stop everybody out, especially these folks here, right? Fuck! Okay, oh shit. You know? But yeah, that's it, Neo. So go enjoy, brother. You don't, you don't need to be seeing this shit. You know what I mean? I'm here because I love hanging out with you guys. I love vibing. You know what I mean? We're going to go 2010 prom vibes. We're going to play some Danny Ocean. You know, so we're going to play some Dream. We're going to play some War ZZ. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, if there's a scalp opportunity like right there, you know, I'm a play play it. You know what I mean? Have you noticed I haven't been doing like 300, 400, 500, 600, 700 Bitcoin positions? I've mainly doing, I'm mainly doing like 40 here, 10 here, you know, maybe like 100 total across all exchanges. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just doing small ass positions. So, because I think what I'm going to start doing, chat, is... Um, I'm going to set distinct hours. So I'm going to say 8.45 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. And uh, I'm done streaming. And if I'm going to be playing games or Warzone, I'm going to be on the Warzone thing thing. But I won't be running the stream 24-7. And I'm going to start doing programmed content. So like maybe Tuesday... Every Tuesday, I do live trading. I'm not going to read chat. Uh, and um, I'm going to scalp, you know, traditional markets and Bitcoin on Tuesdays. I'm not going to read chat. I'm going to have my headphones on. I'm going to Latuche. I'm going to have Vivaldi in my headphones. And maybe from 845 until uh, 1145 a.m. I'm just going to be uh, scalping. You know, and then maybe also live trading on Friday or something like that. So I'm starting, I'm like practicing scalping and, um, you know, like taking small little positions here and there. Max says, do you consider a head short at the 7.5? Okay, stop the music. We're all looking at the same shit, right? So have you, so first things first, Max None of what will what I will say will make sense as it should if you have if you're not caught up on the YouTube highlights or the rewind. Are you you're, you've been here since the morning, correct? You heard all the stuff that we talked about with that getting cleaned out, something like that. Okay, you were here when I had the box like this in the morning, and we talked about this and this box. Uh, were you here when we talked about how that is a good high, but unfortunately that is not okay. Um, did you, were you here when we talked about, Hey, make sure you look at the, uh, previous Jerome Powell weekends. Did you look at the previous Jerome Powell, uh, Jackson Hole symposium weekends, Max? 
Did you hear me talk about this weekend is probably one of those really obvious weekends that you probably don't want to trade as like, do you know what the uh, Jackson Hole symposium weekends are like, Max? I don't know how prepared or unprepared you are. Um, so uh, what you have spit out to me, do you consider a head short at 7.5, all shorts closed, CVD, bear div, longs trapped? Those are observations, but do those things work over the weekend and do those things work over Jackson Hall Symposium weekend would be the question, right? Because you, because observation isn't TA. For you to be able to tell me those edges are actually better than 50 50, that's when it first becomes analysis, right? Um, so clearly we're at a resistance zone. Okay. Have you been able, to, have you been here when uh, like we've seen bearish retests and bullish retests? Some people are going to say, hey, the longer that you spend up here and start to form value, if you start to build value in here, the probability is it's going to go up here. Okay, do you think that it's going to do that over the weekend or you think it's going to clean that first over the weekend and then go? You should be prepared for both because we're not here to predict the future. Roger? But at face value right now, some people are going to say that it actually failed to break below. And now this is a bullish retest. So you're going to have to factor in all that shit and figure out how you want to play it. With everything that you said, Max, is there a chance that you get a little bit of a pullback? Sure. But this is what you're looking at right now. So you're talking about, hey, should we short this? Right? I would probably say no as of right now. All right, but it's going to depend on how we get up there and what it looks like up there, right? So were you here when I, had, when I drew the box like this? So it depends. That's why, like, there is really no, like... You have to start with telling me if you want to get into a long or if you want to get into a short. And then we can figure out levels and figure out what kind of data you should look at. But we're all looking at the same thing, as I said. So you guys tell me if the open interest says bullish, not bullish, bearish or not bearish. What about CVD divs? What about RSI? And most importantly, what about SMP? Okay, that's why we put that 5540 down there. Okay. How we doing, Lions? Zine says so 59.2 is the real level, but not the first level down. Mm, 59.2 like TPO point of control that's 59.3 I don't know what 59.2 is yeah Zine let me ask you this I don't mean to put you on the spot but do you know that which way is it leaning higher than 50-50 chance we're going back up or higher than 50-50 chance we're going back down can you look at this and understand that it's higher chance we're going to go up I'm not trying to predict the future. I don't know if it's going up, but you do understand that the probability now, the way that it reacted right there, is it's going to go up. Zine, you know that mathematically there is a slightly higher chance we go up. Okay, okay, okay. Just making sure, just making sure. That doesn't mean you don't think about the levels down there, you know, and especially understanding that that could get swept, right? But until this is lost, it's up. Quit playing. <laughs> oh, man. 
my god, they, 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 they fucking with me, my boy. Are they fucking with me, my boy? Fuck this shit. Come on. Fuck this shit. Come on. There you go. Swiggity. Let's go. Come on. Papinkaroni. Papinkaroni. There we go. There we go, big boo, big booty Bugatti, big booty Bugatti, big booty Bugatti, baby, baby Papink, come on, give me that thing, give me that thing, let's get it, Kimble, give me more Papinks, give me more Papinks. You know what I'm saying? Not too bad. All right, we got 37,000 real. Ah, give me more Babinks. Give me more Babinks. Give me more Babinkaronis. Let's go get nasty on them. Get nasty on them. Easy money, Bugatti money. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Quit playing with me. 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 Hey, do you have any questions for me, though? What else? Barnacle Boy, what about you? Schauser, what about you? Hey, stop the music for a second. H how many people are already in shorts? And, and be on you can be honest. It's all good. I hope nobody did some goofy shit like putting blind limits in because I'm going to stop doing this box shit. You know? Okay? But if you're already in it, do you? No one cares. I don't care. So don't talk. Don't talk, cry to me about, oh, I got it. I got it. Like, what are you doing? All right, whatever you're doing, I'm rooting for you. We are all looking at the same shit. I was very thorough and explicit about all of the edges that I would want to see if I was going to get into a short. If anything, y'all saw me be patient for six to eight hours that day before we finally got that long the next day. But I laid out exactly what I would want to see, who I want to get stopped out, who I want to see start getting trapped for how much, what kind of edge I wanted to see on CVD. And I can't stress this enough. Please make sure you guys understand what kind of volatility to expect during Jackson Hole Symposium weekend. Okay? And so um, I hope when I say things like, yo, you guys show me, you know what you're doing. I hope you guys can embrace that challenge. It's not some like uh, gatekeeping, like sarcastic remark. Um, you might be a hyena if you heard that and thought that. Um, I just want you guys to be able to execute all the shit that we talk about during the week. You don't have to be the first guy down the hallway. Change why don't if you want to short, why wouldn't you change it away at least for market structure? Why would you want to take higher highs, higher lows, even on the five minute? Okay? Patience, discipline. What edge are you guys looking for? Do you want shorts to get squeezed? You got you want longs to get trapped? Is that happening? Do you know how to tell? Well, then take it relax for a second and figure out how to do that first. You know, do you have good risk management? You're not going to go all in, right? You're going to use a, pro a proportionate sizing of your uh, capital as your margin, good, reasonable, not degenerate leverage, and you know where your stop loss is. So if you do get fulfilled and you get full stopped out, you know exactly how much you would lose. You're okay with that, right? That's it. Can you put all of those things that we preach and we talk about every single day, can you actually execute that at a muscle memory subconscious level without me repeating it and shouting in your ear every single time when the bullets are flying? That's all that matters. Do you suggest to not trade on weekends? You don't have to completely cold turkey and not trade. This is what I'm saying, Ew, Ew. Listen to what I'm actually saying. The weekend has what? Let's, let's start with things that are not debatable. Is it lower liquidity or more 
liquidity during the weekends, EUE? Are the banks open or are the banks closed? Are traditional markets open or are traditional markets closed? Okay, so if there's lower volume, lower liquidity, that means that it's what? Hard to trust the move. It's easier to influence the markets. You can squeeze up, you can squeeze down. So that means that there's more risk. Make sense? Just like how if there is a um, crypto that has $5 billion in market cap versus something that has 5000 in market cap, which one do you think has higher or lower risk of trading? So by definition, lower volume, lower liquidity, higher risk. Not debatable there. So far, so good. That's the message that I want you to understand. So does it mean you shouldn't trade over the weekend? I don't know. Is that how you would interpret that data? Maybe you just do 10% of the original position size. There's nothing wrong with that. I know people that trade over the weekend in juice. So you have to listen to what I'm saying. There is no right or wrong. There is no, A, it's right, it's wrong to trade the weekend. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying, and what I'm trying to get you to also understand, is it's more risk. So you can, how, you can use that however way you want. Maybe some people don't. I like to go balls to the wall and give everything that I have Monday through Friday, which means that I use my weekends to reset. Have you done things like figured out where Friday closed and where it opened Monday and what it does if there is a like a CME gap? If you do that, you can quantifiably, right, see it for yourself that you don't really miss much over the weekends. Once in a while, yes, there will be a big ass gap that might form. Maybe we don't uh, fill it all the way. Sure. Okay, but on a statistical sample size of a year, you're not going to miss much if you just relax over the weekend. But I want you to see that data for yourself because that's the only way you're going to be able to relax. So even a question like that, still like everything that I say will trickle down into all right, you, you. So I want you to see it for yourself that you don't really miss that much over the weekend. Um, maybe you should start, you know, relaxing over the weekend, but you jump right in Sunday night when there's a CME gap, you know, but try different things and manage your risk and enjoy. I, I won't care if you trade over the weekend, but you know what? It is pretty fucking heartbreaking when I'm like, yo, everybody ready to start this week off right? And I see somebody telling me that they, got, they lost everything over the weekend. It's like, what? So as long as you don't do anything goofy like that, then I think you're okay. Any other questions? How you doing, chicken milkshake? You good? Happy Friday, motherfucker. Chicken milkshake in the house. Prox one in the house. Dragon King. Attila in the house. Southam. Pavel in the house. Eruzi in the house. CCDG in the house. Hey, it's good to see some lion cubs consistently poking their heads in. All right, y'all. Well, we have about an hour left. Pavel says, what's the edge of this box? Well, I want you to get caught up on the last two weeks of highlights. Um, but, um, basically like a confluence, do you like it, this, we talked about how we might actually not want to grab that single print two weeks ago. Some of y'all might be like, yo, 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 what about the single print? Yeah, you can grab it. You certainly don't want to get stopped out of the single print as we have talked about for the last two years. But if you're in a short, you actually don't want that single print to get grabbed. Which is how we came up with this box. And that was two, three weeks ago we talked about this. 
you know, it's hard for me to like exactly remember when I said shit. I know what I know. And it's hard for me to like figure out, oh, fuck, when did I say it out loud? Or when did I explain it to you guys? Or when did you guys ask me about it last? Um, so the best thing will be to just try to stay up to date, you know, like don't, you know, watch the VODs. And sometimes like I might explain it so quickly that it doesn't even make it into the highlights because MGK isn't perfect. He's not going to get every single thing every single time. You know, um, but, um, this is our for, I don't know how long I've been talking about 63 first off. I don't know how fucking long I've been talking about 63 as my sort of, you know, the next simpler level of a short attempt would be here. Chat, like on, like how long have I been talking about A's? If you want the easy short, wait for 63. If you want the easy long, wait for 47. So I've been talking about this for a very, very, very long time. So it, it's either like you've been riding, riding with me and you know what the fuck I'm talking about and you're looking at higher time frame stuff um, or you don't and it's okay if you don't you know but it's hard for me to like reverse engineer like this is exactly how you're supposed to know this type of shit you know so yeah for me man I don't know how long I've been saying it but like the 63 zone is a I don't, I don't want to say easy short. Nothing's going to be easy, and it's definitely not going to be easy on a Friday, okay, over Jackson Hole Symposium weekend. But this is, for me, a dead-ass obvious level of interest, okay? So if it does some goofy shit here, a three drives, okay, a failed auction in here, then you know I'm going to be taking a short, Okay? Do we have enough top longers trapped? I don't think so. So maybe they bait over the weekend. Yes. All right. But I don't really expect the price action to go beyond this box. If it does, then I start to get bullish. Okay. I um, still have a good chunk of my long still running. And I've been saying the whole time, I'm not afraid to head short. You know, the only way that I can take my long attempts all the way to 76K responsibly is if I also protect it by head shorting. And I'm not going to be dismissive of obvious data in front of me that's telling me that I should short. Especially if some of y'all motherfuckers is like, hey, we're going to 70K. Not enough Latushi. Y'all are really going to make me start to th think about head shorting strong here. So, and I, you know, that I'm not like making fun of every, every anybody. I'm just trying to pinpoint, like, I'm looking for longers to get trapped here. That would be when I would short. FYI. But I don't expect it to go really above. I don't, I don't even want, if I... I don't want that single print to get grabbed because I want the I want the 63 to 57 K rotation now and then I'm going to long that bitch hella heavy. You know, so I'm going to I'm just doing me, y'all. OK, and uh, I'm just a random dude on the Internet with a giant bong in front of his face. So you guys should always do you. You know, I'm never going to be perfect. I'm never going to be perfectly right or, you know, um, get like pixel perfect shit so you guys gotta have to do you but i'm doing me though i'm you know, saying i'm doing me homie you know and and i was responsible and i tp pretty much pico top so i'm feeling gucci you know what y'all think about this Hey, shout outs to the boy that, uh, to the dude that was like hey you have boxes to the bottom but where's the boxes to the top Fine, bitch. 20 seconds it took me to draw that. All right, stay safe. The VPS is coming back. Remember, the exo will be on 30 mil volume, I believe. All right, longers I'm rooting for you. Shorters I'm rooting for you, bulls, bears. We're all lions. Love you guys. Have a great weekend.